Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, July 13th. We can make no atonement for ourselves. Christ has for sin atonement made. What a wonderful Savior. We are redeemed. The price is paid. What a wonderful Savior. I praise Him for the cleansing blood. What a wonderful Savior that reconciled my soul to God. What a wonderful Savior. What a wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Jesus. What a wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. We can make no atonement for ourselves. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 Jesus was the majesty of heaven, the beloved commander of the angels, who delighted to do his pleasure. He was one with God in the bosom of the Father. John chapter 1 verse 18, yet he thought it not a thing to be desired to be equal with God, while man was lost in sin and misery. He stepped down from his throne, he left his crown and royal scepter, and clothed his divinity with humanity. He humbled himself even to the death of the cross, that man might be exalted to a seat with him upon his throne. In him we have a complete offering, an infinite sacrifice, a mighty Savior who is able to save unto the uttermost all that come unto God by him. In love he comes to reveal the Father, to reconcile man to God, to make him a new creature, renewed after the image of him who created him. Jesus is our atoning sacrifice. We can make no atonement for ourselves, but by faith we can accept the atonement that he has made. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3, verse 18 Ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19. It was through infinite sacrifice and inexpressible suffering that our Redeemer placed redemption within our reach. He was in this world, unhonored and unknown, that through his wonderful condescension and humiliation, he might exalt man to receive eternal honors and immortal joys in the heavenly courts. During his 30 years of life on earth, his heart was wrung with inconceivable anguish. The path from the manger to Calvary was shadowed by grief and sorrow. He was a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, enduring such heartache as no human language can portray. He could have said in truth, Behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. Lamentations chapter 1 verse 12. Hating sin with a perfect hatred, he yet gathered to his soul the sins of the whole world. Guiltless, he bore the punishment of the guilty. Innocent, yet offering himself as a substitute for the transgressor. The guilt of every sin pressed its weight upon the divine soul of the world's Redeemer. The evil thoughts, the evil words, the evil deeds of every son and daughter of Adam called for retribution upon himself, for he had become man's substitute. Though the guilt of sin was not his, his spirit was torn and bruised by the transgressions of men. And he who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God 
in Him. Voluntarily, our divine substitute bared His soul to the sword of justice, that we might not perish but have everlasting life. Said Christ, I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18. No man of earth or angel of heaven could have paid the penalty for sin. Jesus was the only one who could save rebellious man. In him, divinity and humanity were combined, and this was what gave efficiency to the offering on Calvary's cross. At the cross, mercy and truth met together. Righteousness and peace kissed each other. This passage was taken from First Selected Messages, pages 321 and 322. Our Daily Bread, July 13th. Have a blessed Sabbath. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.